Hi guys, I'm Lee and welcome to iMine Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to pull mine Varium Reserve. So in yesterday's video, I showed you how to get started with the Varium Reserve Wallet Vault. And that Wallet Vault has a integrated solo CPU miner. So you select your number of processors, you click start, and then you're solo mining. In today's video, I'll show you how to do pull mining. So Pool mining might be interesting for you if you have a slower hash rate processor or you might want to just uh, run with a single thread in the background or if perhaps you just kind of want um, lower but more regular payouts. So the first thing to do is open up the Varium Vault wallet. If you're unsure on how to install that, check out my previous video. I'll link it in the description and that will open up. I'll show you how to install the Varium Vault wallet itself. So first we want to create a new receiving address. So we hit receiving tab and then new address. The label is going to be called uh, mining rewards. Actually, I'll call it pool mining rewards. So we know specifically that it's from pool mining and not solo mining. Uh, I, we also need to enter our passphrase. So now we have a new receiving address, so we'll be using that in a moment or two. So the next part is to open up our browser. You can see I'm just on Bitcoin talk thread there, just doing some extra reading about the project. Uh, but we wanna get started with a pool. So the pool that I'm gonna be using, and again, I'll link in the description, is this vrm.mining-pool-ovh. Uh, the reason why I decided to use uh, this one uh, was because it showed the stats, so you could see how many um, people are currently mining it, etc. Um, there was another one called Poolium, which also was quite popular, it seemed, but I couldn't find any um, publicly available statistics, so I couldn't see how many people was mining, even though it had a kind of a better getting started page. So um, going back to the VRM pool, we need to uh, register with them first. So on the bottom right, sorry, top right hand corner, we want to sign up. and it's not uh, actually allowing new registrations. <laughs> so I guess we're not using them after all. Okay, so this pool is not accepting uh, new user registration. So I'm gonna use this uh, nerd pool instead. So open that up in a new tab. And then if we go to sign up, you can see I already have the details there. And it's just a case of entering your details. So I've already gone through the process already, but just to demonstrate. Password, email address, and confirmation, and then a PIN number. You need this PIN number if you change your payout address or you want to um, set like a manual payment. So make sure you don't forget this PIN number. Accept the terms and conditions, and then click on register. I've already done that. Once you do that, you will also need to confirm your email account. And once you've done that, then you can then log in. So I'm going to log in now using my email address and password. So now we have logged into the pool, we are ready to add our workers. So if you've used um, Supernova, this is kind of the same sort of process. So your worker name is just um, kind of a nickname for each worker or each miner on your account. So I normally just keep it very simple. And for the first work, I just call it worker one and the password you don't need a secure password because they're only um, minor details. They're, they're not used for login or anything. Um, so worker one password is X. And then we wanna add the new worker. So then when we are setting up our batch file for our minor, then our worker login will be risky fire dot worker one and the password will be X. Okay. 
So that's that part. Uh, going to the uh, getting started on the Paulium page. And the reason I'm just showing you this is because they kind of had the option for uh, two of the miners. So the first miner is the CPU miner um, OPT. I think they used to call it Opti CPU miner. Um, so there's a download link there. I'll put a video, uh, sorry, a link in the video description as well. And there's also this Varium miner, and there's another link there. Um, again, I'll put the link in the video description. So the reason why I've got two miners is because um, I don't know which one is faster um, at this point in time. So in this video, I'll be testing both of them on the same pool, and we'll kind of see um, how we get along there. So. And I'm sorry, to, I hope this doesn't cause confusion. So we're going to be mining on this nerd pool, but um, I was just double checking because um, on the Paulium it shows you the configuration for the CPU miner Opti, but also the Varium miner as well. The other pools kind of only showed you one. So then we need to download our two miner files. So like I say, you've got the links there. I'll put the links in the description. So we'll start with the um, Opti miner. And um, I've downloaded it. It comes as a zip file, and then I've just extracted the zip file to a folder. Okay, so there is no um, kind of startup uh, basic batch file, so we need to create one. So right click, and we're gonna open up a new notepad file or text document. currently a text document but I'll we'll edit it and we'll make it into a batch file. Um, if you download using my links what I'll do is um, I'll include a start um, batch file to help we get started. So now we can edit it. Going back to the browser so kind of your basic configuration for the OptiMiner. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it and then we'll change it to suit what we need. So we need a pool address to start with. Um, do they have a EU pool? Uh, they do. Um, so here we have the address and then we need to select a port number. So uh, our hash rate is gonna be roughly between 1500 and 2000. So the port that we need to use is free all the freeze so it's the eu pool vrm the nerd.com and the port is all the freeze now we need to add in our login and worker name so like i said before it's your login name so in this case it's risky fire and our worker name is worker1 and our password is x. So now if you go to file and save as, and where it says save as file type, we change that to all files. And then when we've got the extension, which is currently .txt, we want to change it to .bat and save it. So that was saved in the same location. So you can see we've got a text file and a batch file. I'm just gonna delete that text file now. Don't need that anymore. Uh, also to show you can edit it, you can edit it with the notepad afterwards, but it's essentially the same inside. So now we should be able to run it. Um, there is, uh, sorry, one other thing. So there's a few different um, CPU miners. Uh, there's, different different uh, coding options. So a mind went uh, blank there. So I think I will check them probably, but um, you need to check which um, instruction set your uh, CPU uh, supports. So I think mine supports AVX2, I'm not 100% sure. So let's just edit this. 
I don't think it changes automatically or anything like that. So we need to do a CPU minor dash AVX2 So let's uh, double click and see if this AVX2 runs. Uh, so here we can see that CPU features, so it does support these other instruction sets. So I think for most people, um, AVX2 will be the fastest if you have a kind of more recent CPU. Okay, so we've been mining for about 10 minutes now and the miner uh, has stabilized. So looking at the top of the miner, we've got each one of the CPU cores and each one is roughly around about the 500 mark. So that gives us a total of around about 2000 hashes per minute that will be. Uh, you can see there's more accepted shares coming through now. The difficulty has changed and we're kind of getting more regular accepted shares. Taking a look at the pool in the browser. So this is just the main dashboard. You can see that the hash rate was around 1600 for quite a while. And now we're up and over 2000. So at the moment, it does appear that this miner is, is faster than the integrated miner. The integrated miner was getting uh, just a little over 2000 hashes per minute. And now we're looking at 2.2 uh, to 2.4 um, hashes per minute. So um, roughly about 10% faster, it would seem, using this miner. So now what I'm going to do is uh, close this and then we'll test out the other Varian miner. So I'll leave this batch file. Um, actually, we'll close it and then we'll kind of what we'll do is we shall uh, copy it and then we're going to go up a folder. So this is the other Varian miner that I talked about earlier. You can download it. I'll provide the download links for you. And then we're going to, oh, it's already got a batch file to start off with, but I'll paste my one um, in here. And then we'll customize it to um, match. Let's take a quick look at their one, see if there's any extra details in there. Um, no, there isn't really. So we just need to have the CPU miner and then the um, pool's address and pool. Uh, work details as before. So let's save that. It's already a batch file. So now we should just be able to start it. Um, I don't think there's any options for changing the number of cores or threads. So it seems it's kind of all or nothing. So let's start the batch file and see how it looks. So I'm testing both, like I said, because I'm not too sure which one is going to be the, the better option for mining. So I don't know if this one has slightly better um, optimizations or improvements. But we'll let it run and we'll see which one is faster for us. You can see there's a slightly different display. So this one reports a total hashes per minute, whereas the other miner kind of reported each individual core so once again, we'll let this run for about 10 minutes and we'll kind of see um, how it balances out and we'll take a look at back on the pool. Okay, I'm still waiting for the miner to catch up, but just in the meantime, I did check out the GitHub and the README and it is possible to set the number of threads. So if you want to set uh, the number of threads and use less or, or more, uh, you can set it how you want. So to your batch file, you add the kind of the option. So it'll be hyphen T. And then the number of threads. So this will be, in this case, it will be three calls or three threads. So use a number that's appropriate to you. So if you want to use less, you could just, you know, set it one, save it, and start use like that. So by default, it will all use all of your CPU cores. But if you use this switch, you can set it to use um, the number of cores or threads um, as you like. Okay, so the very minor has been running for ten minutes now, and we are getting just about the 2000 hashes per minute range. So that's very similar to the integrated miner uh, that's built into the wallet. Taking a look on the pool side of things, sorry, that's not the pool, and this one is. So yeah, you can see it's 2.1 uh, and it's just sort of dropped down there. Um, but for the most part, yeah, 2.1 
uh, 1,000 hashes per minute or 2,162 um, in other words. So this miner, the Varium miner, seems to be slightly slower than the CPU miner um, opt uh, version. So what I would recommend is that um, you try both of the miners and see which one gives you the best results uh, overall. So definitely worth testing. And also make a note of that uh, thread option there. That should be useful uh, for some of you guys. Um, once again, I'll save the batch file. Um, if you download using my links, you'll be able to get the miners and also the uh, included batch files to help you get started with this. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Uh, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. I put out videos like this on a regular basis and it'll be great to have you as part of our community. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.